Well, expensive holidays are not in the budget for many these days, so if you're looking for something to do that won't break the bank, you may consider a staycation this weekend. And one way to do that is camping. Scott Lifeford is live at Fanshawe Conservation Area among the campers. Scott. Well, Terry, you can smell the campfire smoke here already. Now, this is the seasonal area. Most of the folks in behind me are setting up shop now and staying for most of the summer. But if you just want to throw a tent up for the weekend, well, there's plenty of room to do that, too. I'm told there are over 100 spots left. Plenty of space if you want to start your summer. Those eager to camp are preparing, too, with camping products flying off store shelves in anticipation of the unofficial start to summer. Absolutely. This is the big start of the camping weekends. And even if you've never gone before, it doesn't cost that much to put together a starter kit. You need a tent. You need a sleeping bag so you're not sleeping on a cold, hard ground. You need a camping mat to cook stuff on. You need a stove. And so you can see at night a lantern. And all told, how much are we looking at? About $109. It's about half the price if, uh, if you're staying two nights at a hotel. In fact, camping organizations are hoping the cost is one thing that will attract people in this economic climate. It is um, a fun, affordable family vacation, something that any age can do. For the more advanced camper, there are thousands of accessories, but no matter how much you choose to spend, it's a chance to reconnect with nature. We like to rough it. You, know, it's, you don't need a trailer. You have to have a, you have to have a vehicle. All the setup for it is you know, more money, so this is easy. Tent, and just pack it in your vehicles, and off you go.